First, Hollywood, now Broadway. Aussies appear to be invading the biggest stage in theatre in a huge way. From the hit musical American Idiot to Dirty Dancing, showbiz editor Nelson Aspen meets the bright young things taking the theatrical world by storm. You guys know what a musical theatre nut I am. Well, today I get to take a stroll down Broadway and meet some of its biggest talent. And guess what? They're all Aussies. Don't want a nation under the new media. Carmel Dean, music director from Perth to Broadway. I'm so proud of you. Welcome to a new kind of tension. All across the alien nation. Everything is meant to be okay. From the pristine beaches of Perth to the bright lights of Broadway, some Aussies are showing the Yanks a thing or two about showbiz. This is pretty cool to have a table of you all to yourself at Sardi's restaurant, and I'm with Carmel Dean, Ben Mingay, and Sarah McClellan, Australians who are living and working in New York City in the theater. Sarah, what is the ABN? Uh, the ABN is really um, a support network and a gathering of people who are here working in theater, both on Broadway and also throughout the US in touring productions but also for people who are looking to come to the US who, you know, are, are completely blind to, mm. you know, how to get an apartment, how to go about getting a, a visa, a work visa, uh, getting an agent. As the old saying goes, it's not always what you know, but who you know. And you're in good company with this bunch. Carmel Dean landed the gig of a lifetime working as music director on the Tony Award winning musical American Idiot. I was still pinching myself every night being on stage and conducting the band and the rest of the cast during the show. We were incredibly lucky to last week have the lead singer of Green Day, Billy Joe Armstrong, um, play one of the characters. He played the role of St. Jimmy for a week. Give me your great stage moment that makes this all worthwhile. Uh, I think when I was doing We Will Rock You, the original US company, I got to go on for one of the leads that I understudied in previews. Opening, opening Dirty Dancing in LA um, last year and then, you know, performing to that crowd. It would have to be performing on the Grammys with Green Day earlier this year though with them on the Grammys and we followed Elton John and Lady Gaga. <laughs> Even with all the success, there are still a few things no adoring fan can ever replace. Tell me what are some of the Australian things you miss? I mean, it's got to be, there's got to be something more than just Vegemite. Uh, I mean, for me, it's barbecue. Like, you know, I mean, like having a barbecue in the backyard because that, you know, that's how I used to eat every day back in Australia. <laughs> Any advice for those who dream of superstardom? Get as much information as possible. Never lose sight of your dream and your goal to get here and then just do it. Let's just encourage then all you Australians out there who want to give it a go on Broadway to get in touch with the Australian Broadway Network. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep us posted about uh, all your successes, and I know there are going to be many. Absolutely. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good honour. That's a great story. Isn't it? Excellent. Yeah, it's so hard to crack. Broadway, for mm, heaven's sake, they're mm. doing such a great job. Fantastic. I thought it was going to be quite boring when he asked them their ABN. Thought, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't asking them their business numbers at all. <laughs> no, good stuff. Yeah, it was great. On the